Hey, hope you're all having a great day. It's Father Mark again uh, with our little reflections from our Lenten book. And uh, I am still on retreat with our teens here at uh, the retreat center. Uh, this is our last day. We'll be returning home this afternoon, but it's been a great time so far. Been a wonderful blessing to to share uh, God's words, God's grace, God's sacraments with these wonderful young teens. Um, and um, as we have been doing throughout our Reflection on Little Back book, when we come to Sundays, we kind of step back from the passion narrative and have a greater look at, a bigger look, a, a fuller look, so to speak, of the liturgy itself. And today, uh, the authors of the Little Black Book remind us that how important the Word of God is within the liturgy, how important it is to reflect on what God is saying to us in the readings we hear that day. And they focus especially on the psalm, reminding us that sometimes we think there was a first reading, a second reading, and a third reading, the gospel, right? Old Testament, New Testament, gospel. But they also remind us, but there's a one in the middle there that sometimes we don't think is a reading because we sing it on Sunday Mass as a psalm. But it is a very important uh, reflection upon the Word of God also. But I think one of the things that um, I'm reminded of when we do that is you know, making sure we, we reflect on the Word of God all the time, not just at Mass. You know, we have this little thing called a short-term memory and a long-term memory, right? When we're hearing something for the first time, it goes into short-term memory, and if we reinforce it, it begins to sink into long-term memory, right? But uh, when we go to Mass, sometimes we haven't thought about what we're going to be doing at Mass. That short-term memory gets overloaded in by the time we get to the gospel message, the first reading and maybe even the psalm have been chucked out the short-term memory into the dustbin. And because our brain is getting filled and we can only hold on to so many pieces of information at one time. So sometimes I, I do this when I'm celebrating Mass with the kids or uh, with other people in smaller groups. I sometimes say, what did the first reading say? And they often look like, uh, because we can't remember. And that's not a bad thing. That's who we are as human beings. So I'd recommend getting something like this or other books. Uh, you can get them on your apps, on your telephones too, right? Other other books that help us to reflect on the Word of God. And prepare ourselves to, so we come into Sunday Mass, we're going like, I thought about and I prayed about and I've heard and I've let it set in my heart and into my long-term memory what God is going to speak to us today. Maybe you sometimes think to yourself, if I was a priest, this is what I would talk about. And see if the priest is thinking as you are thinking or you are thinking as the priest is thinking. Anyways, come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts. And may the word of God today as you go to Mass enrich you and bless you and, and fire, fire your heart to a greater love of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Have a wonderful night day, everyone. Uh, pray for us as we end our retreat. May God bless you and keep you safe.